Hey, physical scientists. So uh, this is hopefully a quick video for Friday and a very quick task for you to do as well. So um, I'd like to bring your attention back to one of the uh, index cards we made the other day and that you should have in your notes because you might recall that we had this definition for slope, right? And that slope was rise over run. You could think of it as delta y over delta x, the change in y over the change in x. And I mentioned that you could do this with different units and you could plot different things on graphs. And so this distance over time, I want you to look at this distance over time and think about change in distance over time. And in SI units, distance would be meters and time would be seconds, okay? And now I want you to think back to the cat and mouse gizmo. And I want you to think about what you see on this cat and mouse gizmo and how that relates to slope and specifically how that relates to change in distance over change in time. And of course, you see the mouse and the cat are both running here, right? What are they both doing? They're moving away from the starting line. The cat's at the starting line. The mouse is already a little bit away. They're both moving away from the starting line and they're moving away from the starting line at a constant speed, right? And so this change in distance over change in time is really what we're going to call speed, okay? And so I'm going to go back and write that down on that index card. And so let me stop the share though. So on the index card, if you have that, then you want to go ahead and add on to that and you want to say that that is a speed okay now next week when you're back we're going to get into velocity as well so that we can start to have some connections with motion and with these graphs and start thinking about the physical nature of motion because looking at how things move is going to help us figure out how forces are acting on them and so um Speed is change in distance over change in time. And SI units, that would be meters per second, OK? So on this graph that I've created, and what I would like for you to do with a graph that you create using the same gizmo is describe the graph, OK? Describe the motion of the two objects that you've shown on the graph. Now, this is a mouse and a cat. And of course, it's feet and feet per second. But what I really want you to do is I just want you to use the integers here. I definitely don't want you using feet because those are not an SI unit. We don't want to use those in science. So you could instead talk about meters. You could talk about centimeters if something is moving slowly. You could talk about kilometers if something is moving pretty fast. You could change the time. You could talk about seconds, minutes, hours. All of those are SI units. Those are all allowed, OK? So using the numbers on the graph, I'd like you to describe the situation that you're imagining and that you're trying to show with the graph. Notice that, of course, you can change the values here, okay? So for now, this is a cat and a mouse, but for your examples, you can't have a cat and you can't have a mouse. You need to think about another situation, maybe where two objects or two people are moving, and you wanna tell me about how those two objects, two animals, two people are moving, okay? So right now, of course, I would say that the cat has a speed of six meters per second, and that's pretty fast, but the cat has a speed of six meters per second, and the mouse has a speed of four meters per second, okay? And that the mouse does have a head start of four meters, so the mouse has a y-intercept of four, right? And the cat has a y-intercept of zero. And so that's kind of what I'd like you to describe in words. I'd like you to describe the situation that you are choosing to model on this graph, OK? Now, I want you to notice that there's a camera here. And what you can do is you can click on this little camera icon to take a screenshot, OK? And when you right-click on that image, You'll have, uh, you should have the similar menu because you're in Chrome. You can save image as, okay? And you just wanna give that a file name so that you can find it. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and go to Google Docs and you want to create a document. 
And I guess I need to do need to save that. I'm just going to call that cat and mouse. Okay. In your new document, you can insert your picture that you took, cat and mouse. Okay. And then below it, you want to describe your graph. So you would say that in this graph, the mouse had a y intercept of four meters and ran at four meters per second, while the cat had a y intercept of zero meters and ran at six meters per second. Okay. Now you can add notes in on this if you like. So you could say that the y intercept is the head start. You could say that the zero meters for the cat was the starting line. You could say that four meters per second is the slope of the mouse line. And you could say that the six meters per second is the slope of the cat line. And then this is it. And this is all you have to turn in today, okay? But your description of a actual physical situation you want to use any extra time that you have to go ahead and make sure you're finishing other stuff up from this week. It was maybe a little bit front loaded with more to do on Tuesday and Wednesday, but um, that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to relax off on this stuff. The other thing to do with this, sorry, let me add on to this also, is you want to do a conversion, okay? Now you can choose what kind of a conversion you do, what kind of units you go to, so let's say you know um, that it is six meters per second. You want to show or describe that you would uh, divide by, let's say, 1,000 to change meters to um, kilometers. and then multiply by 60 seconds per minute and multiply by 60 minutes per hour to change from per seconds to per hours, okay? This means the cat speed is also so what have I got? I've got six times 60 times 60 divided by 1,000. So the cat speed is also 21.6 kilometers per hour, OK? You don't have to go to kilometers per hour. You could go to kilometers per minute. You could go to meters per minute. You could go to centimeters per second, you could go to centimeters per hour, you could go to centimeters per millisecond, whatever you want to do in here, you just have to convert the speed into a slightly different set of units, okay? Multiply by, okay? Um, six meters per second should be divided by 1,000 meters to change meters to kilometers. There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, and I guess it would be the cat speed, right? So I will post this as an example. And again, you wanna do something like this, but you wanna think about a different physical situation, not a cat and not a mouse, okay? Definitely not feet. Make sure you're using SI units for distance. Make sure you're using SI units for time, but you should go ahead and use the integers 
that you could read off this graph, okay? You don't have to worry about trying to tell me when the two objects catch up to each other. You don't even have to worry about making a graph where the two objects actually catch each other. You could make one where uh, a, an animal is getting away from a lion or something like that, okay? Um, so I hope that's helpful. I hope this is a pretty quick assignment for you to do today. Please let me know if you've got questions.